Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Queen's Wish. Possibly for the final time, we'll see. I really don't know what to expect here, except, well, the Nissi Watchers. Because this is the top floor of the Nissi Tower, the final location that I haven't been to in the entire game, as far as I'm aware, so... We'll see. Um, you circle around a pit, indeed. Looking down it, you can see empty air, and then the floor of the cave outside far below. Wait, what? This floor of the tower extends far beyond the base. Oh, okay. That's, that explains that. There are four Nissis sitting behind the counter. They are withered, shrunken, ancient creatures. They look like they could explode into dust at any moment, yet they are alive. They are withered and desperately fragile, and yet they breathe. One of them looks up at you. He nods. One final bit of diplomacy lies ahead of you. I was kind of hoping for just a straight-up fight. Uh, I mean, our buffs are still holding. I mean, there's... Not one with a specific name, so I guess we'll just talk to any of them. Oh. The Watcher looks at you, but it's, it doesn't respond. It doesn't respond to your words. That's an interesting choice of word there, of pronoun. It is barely able to breathe. So, what, am I supposed to step on this precarious platform? Is that what you want me to do? Oh. The strange, withered old zombie creature sitting behind the table looks up at you. Well, one of them does, apparently. There is a faint nimbus of light around it. It has a powerful magical protection. The air around it crackles, yet it seems ready to die at any moment. I am a watcher of the Nissi. We chose not to talk to you. As it speaks, big grey flecks of skin fall off its face. Uh, is this some kind of charade? Are these actual, actually corpses somehow reanimated or animated with magic to to trick me? Is this entire place just going to blow up and supposed to, to take me with it? While all the, the Nissi are actually not hiding here, as I have been told? Hmm. Well, we'll see. You gave up much to be here. This is the final parley. Hmm. What the heck are you? We are the Watchers of the Nissi. We have looked over Sacramentum, in and out of the sun, since lost time. We are the ones who, banish ha who banished Haven. We are doing it again. Yeah. I guess. So I guess you're in charge. Hmm. I suppose they really are? What a miserable existence. Yes, yes, we are the speakers. I bear our message. Its chest heaves. The thing was winded by the effort of speaking out loud. <laughs> are you alright? You aren't doing that well. Purging you from our lands drains us. Soon we will have a deal, or you will be purged. Then we can be restored. I mean, honestly, I'd prefer not to speak at all, but since there is no choice, speak quickly, I guess. We have an offer for you. It is truly generous, beyond anything we have ever surrendered. You are to be applauded for bringing such fear to the Nissi. I mean, we... we have been made an offer before, and I declined it, so I really don't see why anything should have changed, or why they why they would think that any anything might have changed in the meantime. I'm going to listen to the offer just in case it's different, but I'm fully prepared to not take it. A century. We Nissi will withdraw for a hundred years. Our nations will be your playthings, your vessels. You can have Sacramentum for that period. Then we will return, and we will expel you. A century not enough? I mean, basically, yeah. I'd like a wish too. Uh, I have no idea what the game is going to give me here, but I'm curious, so... No more wishes. Oh, well, okay. I guess that would have... That was kind of predictable. That offer is withdrawn. A whole continent for a century is worth more than any wish anyway. Eh, you think so? You know what? I've made my decision a long time ago. The Watchers look at you intently. They are breathing hard from the effort of concentration. Yes? No deal. Sacramentum is ours. I mean, I wouldn't normally insist on in it, but... It, I would, If I had a choice, I would say Sacramentum is no longer yours. Because they... They act all high and mighty. And morally or whatever, in whatever other way, superior. But I think they're, they're not. I don't know if we are better, but... I don't think that they are good either, so... You know, rather I'd, I'd rather choose us than these weird creatures. Not quite human. But somehow, you know, assuming the right to rule over humans. Suddenly, as one, the Watchers close their eyes. Their heads 
nod against the, uh, against their chests. Behind you, you hear shouting. While you've been talking, Nissi warriors enter the tower. They are ready to begin their final defense. So, do we kill these guys? Hmm. You'd think that they have that they should have only like one hit point or so, but I guess they're a little bit tougher than that. Hmm. So should we maybe retreat as far back as we can? To be in a good defensible position, like so. They're not even part of the fight. I mean I suppose they're not really much of a danger themselves. Except that I guess they're so if I understood it correctly, they are so drained and basically uh, only being held together by the last bits of their magic because they've been using their own energy to punish Haven, to summon up the Calamity. So by destroying them before they have a chance to regenerate or whatever they do, wouldn't that stop the Calamity? Well, I guess we'll have to deal with their defenders first. And... Actually, these seem tougher. Yeah, I think they have about twice the hit points of the ones I've been dealing with. So, buff duration is, well, going down. Maybe I should rebuff one more time. Or, you know what? If there ever was a time to use these items. Assuming this is the final combat, I mean, if not, I guess, oh well, I'll have to deal with the, the actual final fight without any resources, possibly, but... For the time being, I'm going to assume that um, I cannot actually reach them. That's okay. Just to make sure, though, I cannot target these guys. I guess they count as neutral units in this case. Hmm, bit of a bummer. Can you attack this guy? Yes, you can. Vicious strike, bleeding. Okay, that's something at least. And I will have you... I guess focus your attack on the same guy. And save your energy for the time being. You can faint, buff yourself a little bit, but he evaded. Okay, well, fair enough. Suppose, since your buffs were about to run out the soonest, um, you can do the same thing, and you hit. Okay, they bless themselves. But now they're close enough so I can at least... Well, I guess this guy's already... Wait, no, he's also hasted. Interesting. Hmm. I guess the slowing effect from... The passive slowing effect from uh, Cathar's attack just wasn't very powerful. And they are upon us now. There are more coming on the other side as well. Heavy blow. You might be dying from your debuffs. I get a chance to check. Speaking of, oh, okay, there is a caller. Two cave tenders. The rest of them, oh, a caller and a weaver. Two tenders. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what they all do, what they're all capable of. I probably would like to, should, should like to. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna die from debuffs. Good to know. Hmm. I mean, I suppose you can hit the tender. What are their resistances, actually? 70% mental resist. 80% stun resist. Ooh. Is that... Th okay, 60, 60, 80. Hmm. I guess just do damage, then? Evaded. Welp. <sighs> Maybe summoning... You could. Nah, I'm gonna save this one. For once our buffs run out. Um, I could call a construct to keep those guys busy for a bit. I don't think Kallak will get close enough to slow down the spellcasters. Actually, what's their hit points? Oh, okay, they have quite a bit less. The tenders have the same as the warriors, though. Okay, okay. I'm trying to keep track of all the data here. Um, this guy's about to die. Yeah, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and maybe distract... Yeah, distract those, 
the bigger group up there. I guess that makes more sense. You would take a step north and... Oh, you yeah. get them, okay. Yes, it will get the construct as well, except the construct was not affected or evaded the effect. Either way, that's good. Uh, you're blessed but slowed. Heavy blow, okay. Good damage poison resisted though. Construction is working. Maybe I should... Oh god, yeah, I need to kill these guys. For sure. Oh god, even these can deal horrible damage, holy moly. Uh, you know what? Actually use one of these. And heal, because that was a lot of damage in one round. I hope... Okay, sure, summon your own construct. Uh, now we can reach this guy. Definitely need to take him out quickly. Hmm, our construct is going to die, so you know what? Might as well do this. That was some good damage all around. I think that was worth it. Well, these guys are unfortunately also quite dangerous, but I need to try and take out this guy before he gets another chance to cast one of those fire rains. That was not a lot of damage. I guess they have a lot of magical protection. And wow, holy moly, that is so much damage. Okay, he's gonna die. Yes, he is dead. I mean, our own whirlwind attack deals about as much damage, so I can't really complain. Oh, you know what? Mm, no, that's okay. Good, he's dead. The caller is still around. Oh, fear, huh? Oh my god. He's terrified. He did not try to run away. That's the good news. The bad news is just about everything else. Why don't you summon your infernal construct? I'm assuming you can't reach that guy, or can you? You cannot. That's what I was afraid of. We could get the cave tender. Hmm. You could whirlwind from down here. Okay, construct is dead for what it's worth, and we're dead. Yeah, okay. Well, that's bad. Needless to say. Well, I mean. Don't have any of these oh, in the in the active inventory. That sucks. So I mean, we're actually dead though. There is no way. Uh, Someone a construct maybe distract them, but this is. Um... Well, we'll see. I'll I'll try staying alive, but I think this is going to be a reload. Those attacks are so devastating. And I can't really effectively stop them from doing them. I could retreat further to the back here. I don't know. I thought this was a good defensive position. But I really need to at least have uh, my spellcasters not so close to the rest of the group. Which is, of course, problematic in terms of uh, hitting with our own spells. But, yeah... Okay. I mean, now I have a better idea of what we're up against. Oh, yeah. You know, we, we could actually just retreat all the way back here and then talk to this guy. You know what? <laughs> make this. Let's make the sword. I've come to destroy you. Um, I don't want to talk to you, but I'm done with you. For the honor of Haven, you must die. Attack. I mean, we'll see how okay it is. I guess you wait there. You maybe wait there, so you're in range of enemies. 
you wait there. You can stand here. Oh, okay. Charged ahead, I see. Wait, what? That was a... Oh, this guy's not so tough. Huh? What? Why do they suddenly have 200 hit points instead of 500? What? How... How's that even possible? And their resistances are much lower. They're... Are they just a lower level? Were they tougher than they were supposed to be before? I don't understand this at all. Is the game taking pity on me? Is, did something change? I certainly didn't lower difficulty or anything. They're still dealing a ton of damage. Huh. No, we can't... Mm. Sure, step there, and how far can you reach? Surprisingly far, actually. Maybe worth just for slowing down the collar. Um, heal him. Yeah. Oh, the buff has run out on her. Collar summoned a serpent. There's the weaver. Yeah, and they have even less health as well. What's going on here? Take out this guy. Uh, okay, he died from bleeding, actually. It's probably... That was 26 damage from two stacks of bleeding, so 13 per bleed at this point. Going to try to keep that in mind. Hmm. Seems like a waste, but... Actually... Uh, hmm. The thing is, magical damage is going to not deal a lot to this guy. But I'm still going to try a shock. Okay, it's better than expected. I suppose I could have you... One, two, three, four... Wait, what? Really? No, no, no. You should be able to reach him from here. Oh, he's not dead. And he's not bleeding. Don't do Literally one hit point. <sighs> well, I guess I deserve that somehow. Wait, okay, that was him. Yeah, that was seven and eight damage. Excuse me. Okay, well, these guys still... Yep, they're still absolutely murdering us. What the actual heck? Well, there goes one scroll of life and a heal to make it worth it. Um, please hit. Okay, good. At least no more fireballs, although that first one was extremely non-dangerous. These guys, though! Are you kidding me? Wow. What? What are you supposed to do about that? I mean, there's... I can't level up any further. I can't have any better armor than this. And this is not even highest difficulty. How do you handle that? You can't possibly, like, crowd control them for long enough. Uh, maybe I'll take a look at a, a playthrough on, on Torment difficulty or whatever the highest difficulty is called here. Just to see how that's even possible to handle. Uh... For now, I mean, what do I do? I guess you had a scroll of life available, thankfully. You can summon this guy. You can heal him again, please. Good heal me. All right. Just enough to survive one more of these cleaves that they just spam over and over. The next one is going to do it, though. Well, we evaded one attack there. Radiance. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. We might be able to one-shot this guy. He is poisoned, too, so he will take some extra damage next turn. This guy is here. He's slowed, but blessed. Blessing shouldn't matter that much. Um. What's the best move? Blessed. Hasted, even. These are hasted. 
This one's hasted. Serpent, probably the least of my worries right here. Hmm. Can I, uh, well, we can slow down both of those guys. Or I could try to kill this one. Would that be worth it? Honestly, it might be. If I can kill him. Okay, I did. Please. Okay. He can fireball as well. That dealt almost no damage. Now Rosluca is dead. Not sure if we even have any more... Well, you have three? Okay. And you can use your Haven's Mercy. I hope everyone's in range. Yes. Okay, this guy needs to go, but these also need to go. Oh boy. Uh, slow them down first. Okay, that worked. Imagine doing this with them having 500 health. Imagine not constantly getting hit for... How much health do we have? Yeah, okay, that's half of our health. Everyone has pretty similar values, actually. Can't see his right now. But... Yep. I think we might not have any more uh, scrolls of life in our active inventories at this point. That is a major bummer. That's really bad. So I have a, I have a uh, sneaking suspicion that as soon as I reload again, they'll suddenly have their 500 health again for some reason. And then I won't be able to do this. Uh, I mean, I can, I guess, worst case scenario, I can always take their deal, you know, begrudgingly. Just, <laughs> I don't know. But it's it definitely wouldn't feel right. Hmm... I feel like I have to heal to give us any kind of chance here. Yeah, you were stunned. You took another one of those crits. Wow, even the snake crits. And we're basically just as bad off as before. We... We absolutely need to kill kill some things. Scroll of Might. Is that going to help? Well, actually, yes. We're not bad. In fact, our healer was slowed down. Oh, man. There are so many things to try to keep track of. Oh, my God. She's just dead. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Healer is done. Well, this was looking all right for... A moment. Uh, help. What do you do? <laughs> what can you do? Teleport yourself away? I suppose you could. But for what? Just away from these guys. Which, or, yeah, well. Which will then make them rush toward Kallik, most likely. Uh, I guess it is a way to keep you alive for the time being. Clear path. Isn't that a clear path, though? I mean, you could walk there. Does it have to be in line of sight? Nope. I guess the, the stool prevents that. Okay. You can't teleport through units, though. So that worked. Um... Um... If I cast haste, I think we might be, uh, if, uh, if I uh, slow, I mean, we might be hasted enough to not immediately get slowed, but it might slow them. Because I think inherently our blessing effect is stronger than, than the slowing effect. That might help, might buy some time. Oh, she's slowed, and <sighs> that happened. Yeah, 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 okay, right. Well. I mean, we've, we've basically lost. There's still a spellcaster left. These guys aren't dying soon enough. And she's dead. 
stunned, and there goes another one of those. It suddenly deals 49 damage instead of 7. Okay, well, I, I guess I did make some mistakes this time around by not paying attention to our buffs enough. Let them run out. I should really buff them once, buff Blessing once at the beginning of the fight, or before the fight really begins. Hmm, well, we'll see what that was all about with the enemy hit points. Did my positioning affect that somehow? Did my dialogue choices affect the, the, the enemy stats for some reason? Hmm. I guess I'm going to go with the same options again. Done with you. Okay. I think that's the same options. And we'll see what happens now. Um, just... Wait until I see the first enemies approaching. Buffs running out. No enemies are approaching at all. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. Same reduced hit points. That's so weird. Did I buff them by choosing my... I don't know. What What did I, what did I choose differently before in terms of the dialogue? I let them talk more. I listen to their offer. Why would that make the fight more difficult? I don't know. That, it doesn't seem logical at all. Maybe it was a bug before and this is how it's supposed to be, but I don't know. I give up. I give up. Buff. And come. Okay, they charged and opened with a 74 point hit. Wonderful. So I pretty much have to heal. 72, almost as much damage as he took with the first attack. And here we go again. Um, if I had gone there, which I can still do, could do this. Unfortunately, it does not reach quite far enough to get more than these two, but it's a start. They're also actually in a good position to be collectively slowed down. They are slowed. Now they're blessed again. You need to heal again. Please heal for uh, 75. Okay, evaded. That's huge. Um, I guess you could drink this potion to almost top you off and then still get some good damage in and take another 79 damage hit. Silenced. Radiance, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm, yeah, I guess I'd rather get this guy. Although it doesn't really matter, does it? I suppose this one is already damaged, so... There's a bit of a reason to damage that one. This is the Weaver. Um, if only I could do more things. You know what? Maybe... Distract that guy with the Infernal. And... What now? Oh, that's that skill. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I meant to use this one. Unfortunately, uh, well... Wait, does that hit the three enemies there? Does that hit all four? It looks like it hits all four without affecting a Tantua. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Good. <laughs> Not sure if any of them are going to be dying. I'm gonna risk healing only him. She's in danger though. I mean this guy is I should probably make sure. This guy's gonna die. This guy is not going to die. And this guy is very definitely not going to die. So we're looking at potentially two more of those cleaving attacks. So I think I need to do this. And then top him off as well. Any kind of chance. Okay. He actually did use his... Uh, okay, we can't get a chance to do this, which hopefully kills... Oh. Well, okay. It didn't hit the guy who was going to die anyway. So we got really lucky in that regard. Yeah, well, rip. Elemental. 
We can summon another one, though, to buy us some more time. Okay, that guy died. Good. Um, this guy's damaged. We might be able to finish him off with a shock. Almost. He might be close enough. Oh, not quite. Where's the summoner, actually? The caller, I mean. Is he... Does he not join the fight somehow? Did we get lucky, or did I kill him without even noticing? No, I don't think any enemy uh, enemies summons were ever summoned, so... I think we lucked out in that regard. Huh. You could walk close enough to start shooting this guy, or I could, you know, finish this one off. Even if it feels like a bit of a waste. Kathara could do that if no one needs healing next turn. You know what? I'm going to start killing the caller. He's not going to stay distracted forever. Oh, nice. Awesome. Okay, heavy blow against this guy. Oh, okay. The summoner must be on this side, I guess. Good. Please finish off the warrior. Nice. Oh, I should have healed. I should have healed. Oh, no. I didn't pay attention. Dang it. Every single little mistake is punished immediately. I missed that this guy attacked in the meantime, because I was so focused on the caller, I guess. Well, you use your one chance to resurrect. Heal him up. Yeah, the constructs fighting amongst themselves. That's good. Shock. Two damage, not too bad. He did something. Not sure what that was supposed to be, but it didn't seem to do anything, so that's good. Good enough for me. Behind you, some of the Watchers moan. After centuries hidden up in their tower, they have become soft and sheltered. They forgot that the wild violence of the world outside could ever touch them. Another wave of Nessie defenders come up the stairway. Oh no. They howl with berserk rage. This is their final stand. Yeah, but we're not looking good. At all. Not in the slightest. Oh, come on. It's not what I need right now. Please, finish this guy off. Oh, he's not dying. Not fast enough. I was kind of hoping that because he didn't see us, he would not join the fight, but obviously he was already in the fight, so never mind. Uh, this should work. That was not a lot of damage. That was. Can you reach him from there? No. But from here, we know you can reach that, that position. I really hope that we might get out of combat for at least one turn to regain some energy. No such luck. Champions. Okay, they also... They're all champions. Please tell me it's only four of them. They have the same reduced, or seemingly reduced, hit points. <sighs> you could buff the group. I mean, you're hardly using your mana otherwise, although I guess I should probably save it. You could... Heal twice. You could use Haven's Mercy twice, which I think I'm going to save your remaining mana for. I mean, we're all still buffed for a couple of turns, actually for a decent duration. Especially if I... no, that's the healing. If I do this to double up on the buffs, if there ever was a time, it's now. Let's try to pick them off one by one. You retreat as far back as you can. Uh. Good, okay. We killed the first one before they even got close enough to do anything. <sighs> All right. You will be able to reach that guy from here. So I could stun him to buy us some extra time, but do we need that time? I'd rather maybe stun the guy who looks more like a spellcaster. And we will go with a heavy blow against that guy, taking away half his health. 
It looks like we can reach him from here, so yes, good. Evaded, not so good. Was blessing. Oh no, oh no. Okay. We're alive still. Restoring rain. Cured, all right. I mean, I'm only, I'm not seeing more enemies, so maybe it was only this party of four champions. Which is, you know, kind of fair. Four against four. Slow them down. Surprisingly worked. Hmm. I mean, this guy's already damaged, so I think I should keep focusing on him, even though I would like to... You know what? Stun the spellcaster. Stun resisted. Mm, slowed. Oh no, and there is another party. We didn't get a chance to save in between combats. That was a freaking 114 damage hit. Are you for real? Can I... What? We don't have a scroll of mercy. This is so dumb. Why does it display items I don't have? Oh, okay. Too bad no one's in range. Yeah, you... Wait. That guy is in range. That guy is also... No, we have to walk one, one step. We can't, though. Is this right? We can reach this guy from where we stand. Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay, stun him that way. Heal Ross Luca. For what it's worth. Slow down those new arrivals. Okay. They reversed it immediately. Well, no, they tried. At least they're not hasted anymore. Please... Can you walk around? Well, you could, but you can't switch your weapon anymore. Close. And he's not bleeding, of course. Of course he's not. Why would he? Heavy blow. Please kill the champion. Caster. That was good damage. We needed that. Please kill this guy. Oh no, he evaded. I knew it! Oh no, he's dead. Rip. Oh, he actually survived. Okay. You know what? Do this to save your own life, Andros Lucas. Oh, Jesus. This is too stressful. And now we're at this point again, huh? Right, we cannot do anything. We She can't revive anyone. I mean, you might as well retreat over this way, away from the warriors. Doesn't make a difference. Heal. Meanwhile, you... And move toward them as much as possible. Uh, we probably want to take out this guy first, though. Hmm. Or this guy? Actually, stun him, maybe? Okay. That worked. Alright, they wasted their entire round. I like that. <sighs> that was no damage. What the heck? Because they're resistant to all kinds of Oh, 47 magical armor, and our attacks count as magical. Okay, well. You still have some mana. You can possibly poison them both. Or crit this guy for 100. You can do that, apparently. Healing is not absolutely necessary right now. Okay, thanks for killing that guy. Heavy blow. 124. Bleeding very oh. heavily. Oh, he died! He died from his debuffs. Risking it. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, actually. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Is this it? Oh, come on. Yeah, well. 
the fight was won at that point, but I am not going to celebrate quite yet. Exit combat. Uh, well, I always have my heart saved before this, right? This is the only thing I did, so... Quick save. Don't accidentally quick load, as I have done at least once before. Wait. Got some mana back for what it's worth. One of the watchers moans in horror. As more Nissi start to run up the stairs to attack you? What? Wait, wait, wait. The, n the game told me that that just just now was the final stand. Don't lie to me, game. As more Nissi start to run up the stairs to attack you, another watcher sh shouts, No, wait! It has been a long time, but they're remembering what fear feels like. The watcher who spoke with you calls out, Enough, blood! The most powerful of our defenders still come. You can still escape. Oh, no. Our offer stands. Hold Sacramentum for a century, and we will let you live. We, we can't possibly beat another wave of even stronger defenders. It's not possible. You know what? I saved the game. Bring on your defenders. Obviously, I have to try at least once. This is going to be so disappointing if I have to... If I end up having to give up, though, after making it this far. I hate it, but... We have to. All of the watchers moan in unison. More loss, more death. We will be avenged. You hear more guards running up the stairs. The, more, the most powerful ones yet, huh? Three energy for all of us. I mean, that's good, but not good enough, I'm afraid. You're out of potions. You could give one of your... He could give one of his potions to her. Actually, let's quickly check here. Yeah, she can't use this anymore. You have... A scroll of calling, yeah, well, you have one of each. You can revive once. You can revive once. I feel like we should give that over because he tends to die more, more often. Um, you as well. So both of you can now, both of our casters can now revive. You give your final potion to her. You can call a regular construct. Buff and heal. You can heal once for free. You actually have your power potion left, which is probably not a bad idea because you also have the, the powerful healing spell if you can survive. But we have two chances to revive, possibly. Yeah, okay. So you're going to drink that extra potion and... Well, these are about to run out anyway. So I'm going to wait until I see the enemies approaching. Another wave of Nessie defenders come up the stairway. They float, not run. More of their freakish orb defenders. Oh, really? Honestly, um, right now I'm less afraid of more beholder beasts than humanoid enemies. So this might not be that bad. It's probably too early to say that. They can charm, which is always, you know, a huge gamble. Oh. Fungal zombies. It's not what I expected. Still, with the relatively low uh, hit points, they also have basically no armor, which is interesting. Well, enemies are within sight, so I think we do this. Hit points could be a little bit higher, but, you know, you take what you can get. Um, okay, you can actually get the first attack in. Good start. You can do the same thing. All right, very good start. There is an eye tyrant. Low hit points. What? I, I mean, I'll take it. Really, can't reach it from there. Mm. But that should mean it can't reach us either, so maybe actually retreat for now. We'll wait for it to come one step closer. Oh, silence resisted. Okay, good, I'll take it. Bleeding. Good hit. Slow down. Uh, 
I mean, if they keep coming one by one, uh, this might be almost free. All right, well, keep going like this. If this really is, if this actually is the final wave this time. Wait, really? Oh, okay. Okay. Then we might, we might get this. Your yes, need to go there. Not waste any steps. Oh, okay. Walk there, I guess. Not slow down. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have you move to that side. Actually, it looks like more is coming from that direction. So, oh, of course. As soon as I move, there's another eye tyrant. You know what? Have a shock spell, actually. And that one evaded, of course. <laughs> of course. They also have no uh, no armor at all. What's up with that? Am I the only one thinking this is curiously... Curiously... Uh, harmless? For what's supposed to be the final stand? The actual final stand this time? Haste it yourself, huh? Let's... Tr I'm... Hmm... Is it worth blowing two more mana to slow this guy when I can't technically kill him in one round? Maybe? It is an eye tyrant. It could do bad things to us. I could also try another shock and possibly take out more than half its health in one blow. I'm gonna go for the quick kill method. Okay, that was actually about half his health. Good, we finished with the skeleton. Oh, okay, he was silenced, and that's... That was just a slow, okay. Another fungal zombie. I'm not feeling particularly threatened yet. Okay, that's another one of those down. We dealt with one of these guys easily before, and I see no reason why... You shouldn't be able to do the same with this one. A few Nissy stragglers come upstairs. My god, okay, we're not done. They aren't warriors, they are magicians, sages, old, doddering men and women of the underworld, the final dregs of the defenders, making a final stand. You catch a glimpse of the watchers, they are staring at you. Their faces betray no emotion. You've seen this look before, the look of surrender, the realization that in the end none can resist the might of Haven. Or can they? <laughs> um, I'm very tempted to save again. In fact, I can always just, you know, make a... What? Oh. Oh. Stupid keyboard rebinding? That was supposed to be final stand. Um, you know what? Oh, I don't have an S. <laughs> and a, or a D. Oh my god. Ugh, whatever. There. Good enough. Yes. What? Hold on. Which one was I saving over? Doesn't really matter. Oh, choose that one. Uh, let's go with 69. There. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, well, and I guess we just wait some more? Or actually enter combat so that less time gets wasted. Radiance, thank you. Okay. Circle Sages. And they are super weak. Oh, I can't reach from there, huh? Fine. I have I just saved, so I feel like Um being a little bit more Aggressive this time, perhaps. Hmm. Well, you don't really have much in terms of AoE damage that you could do at this at this range. However, can walk here. That was the what? 
What was I even thinking? That was the... Uh, the wrong spell entirely. The wrong hotkey. I had my fingers on the wrong set of F keys there. So that was supposed to be a heavy blow on this guy. <laughs> well... Okay, that was me being stupid. I'll just accept that for now. I almost did the same thing again as well with Kalag. I have no idea what was up with that suddenly. Alright, okay. I don't think you can reach... Uh, well, you could reach those three and probably kill two of them. Uh. Evaded. Oh, god. Okay, they can deal damage, as expected. Hmm... Hmm. Well. I'm already playing super risky here, so might as well not overdo it entirely. Am I right in assuming... Uh, well, I can reach two of them. You know what? Sure. That was the last of her mana, though. Maybe not the best use, but maybe not the worst. I should kill two more. Oh. Deal with the serpents. Easy enough. Heavy blow. Uh. That was the kill. Still have to deal with this one. And maybe that is it, finally? Or is there yet another final wave of defenders? Come on. Come on, really? Oh, didn't actually do anything though. There are more. Well, all right. I didn't really count actually. I'm assuming it was another two groups of four. So, this might be the final one who just took the other route around. Nope. Huh. Okay, actually, I suppose that was it. Not, no idea why that took another turn to for the game to realize. At last, the hall is silent. No more warriors are coming upstairs. You have defeated the Nissi. You turn back to their watchers, ready to confront them. You're almost disappointed to find that they are dead. No, actually, I pretty much expected that. They slump in their chairs. Their magic is broken, and their heads hang at unusual angles. Unnatural angles. It is strangely anticlimactic. No big speeches, no applauses, just the withered remains of a dead empire. Sacramentum is yours. Is it, though? I, I'm i still waiting for some kind of huge middle finger from the game. Exit combat. The guys are actually... I mean, they're still around. Oh. The Watcher crumbles into dust. Oh, that, okay, I gotta say, that's kind of satisfying, if a bit uh, gruesome, maybe. Save the game. <clears throat> Very tentatively. No more illusions. Um, was there something useful in here? Oh, actually, you know what? I should have... Didn't I? Why did I not take these with me? These could have actually helped. At least, you know, make me feel a bit safer. And the Scroll of Mercy. For you. I mean, I'm hoping that I won't need them anymore. But who knows? That guy, gate's still closed. These are open, though, so we can finally loot this place. Yay. Oh, it's open. Yeah, all of that. All of it. Oh, wow. I mean, obviously. We must be long at our limits. Only Quicksilver, huh? So they've been running entirely on Quicksilver? I, I mean, I suppose if those are the original Watchers who have been... who have actually, in person, been sitting around watching for, who knows, centuries, millennia? They must have been drinking basically pure Quicksilver at that point. Uh, hey, you're still there. A man in bright colors and, and bright clothes scampers down the road toward you. A court jester. The man flounces about in an absurd suit of garish red and green. That's the same greeting as before. He skips over to you, flipping up his mask to cover his greasy matted hair. He has 
A manic grin and pale green skin and Ariel Blessed. Uh, do you not... Was he supposed to... I, I wondered that before. I wondered why he didn't disappear after we had our conversation. Maybe because I didn't fully exhaust the dialogue? Hmm. Either way, at this point I, I expected him to actually have some kind of message for me, acknowledging that I just defeated the Nissi, apparently. But, uh, well. Not so far. We told you about me. The Nissi, I assume. Um, what are you doing down here? Actually, I really want to know what you're doing down here. No, no, no. I will help save you. Reach out to him. When you try to touch him, there is a flash of light. You are thrown back. Pierrot smiles, but he is shuddering. He's in pain. They said that would happen. What was that? Pain for me, and still Haven gets... Uh, and still Haven always gets its way. I learned everything too much about... He points at the spire to the north. Them. Had to pay the cost to live here always. He cackles madly, shaking his stick at you. I willingly paid. That or be eaten. I don't want to talk more. I'd rather tell you a joke. Tell me another joke. Did he actually tell me a joke at this point? Why... Why another? Anyway. An Owen, a swamp runner, and a blessed walk into a bar. He laughs at his own half-joke. The bartender looks at them and says, What is this? A joke? Wow. That one's really old and really bad. Piero spins and curtsies. Want to hear another? Sure. What kind of tea is hard to swallow? You shrug. Reality! <laughs> he bows deeply. We will all die here. Want another? <laughs> Go ahead. Another joke. Why was six afraid of seven? Because 789, dude. When you ask why, he howls. Because 789. I don't know why 7 did it. Maybe 9 just couldn't keep its stupid mouth shut. Want another joke? Why stop now? Yes, another joke. His face contorts in concentration. This is a tough one. So, a duck walks into a bar and asks the bartender, got any grapes? The bartender says, I'm sorry, duck. We're a bar. And so, we have wine and beer, but no grapes. The duck is said and leaves the bar. Keep listening. Waiting for the punchline? Oh, okay. I, I th thought it actually was over at that point. Pretty sure I don't know this one. Uh, the next night, the duck comes back. It asks, got any grapes? The butter says, no, duck, we don't have any grapes. And if you come back in here tomorrow, tomorrow night asking for grapes, I will nail your beak to the bar. The duck runs out the door. The next night, sure enough, the duck comes back. The bartender grits his teeth as the, ducks <laughs> the duck asks, do you have a hammer? Keep listening. The bartender explodes. What? No, of course I don't have a hammer. So the duck says, got any grapes? With an exhausted bow, 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 the, he collapses to the road. What? Oh, okay, that was it. With an exhausted bow, he collapses to the road. No more jokes. Sleep time. He closes his eyes, curls up on the stone and passes out. As you walk away, he starts to shudder and moan. So he's, okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, that was a weird time to, to have this conversation, if you want to even call it that. I guess he just doesn't despawn. He just stays there forever. Even if the Nissi are no longer around to force him. Um, I... Hmm, I don't know. Am I supposed to do something special at this point? The Nissi are still wondering. Um, there... Was this guy up here, right? Oh well, there was this guy who I killed. Wait. What was at the top of this tower? I don't even remember anymore. I played this like a week ago or so. If that's any excuse. Wait, oh, right. This just looped around. So... Uh, I don't know. I guess we try to leave now? See if any of the exits are open? To allow us back to the surface? Really don't want to run into any encounters. Like... Uh, I guess I should have taken the opportunity to rest if I had thought about it for a second. There, I see there. Hmm. Wait, I think that was just a random group of of, uh, of enemies wandering uh, who wandered into that place. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Sure enough, this place seems abandoned. And we're back out on the surface. There are still those serpents, which thankfully I can just bypass like that. There are these. Actually, we can just quick travel. What am I, what am I doing? Uh, return to Fort Haven. Oh, 
Okay. When you enter the fort, you sense that things have changed for the better. This was an this this took an oddly long time for for me the game to to uh, I don't know confirm for me that I actually won. Uh, but okay, better late than never. Uh, the heat and dust are gone. A cool breeze soothes you, and the warm the sun is warm and full of comfort. The terror is your the terror in your people has passed. They smile and nod as you pass, unaware of what you had to do to win their reprieve. The calamity has passed. You have saved your colony. At last, you can return home. I suppose I can. Can't I? I guess I'll... Yep, the portal is flashing for sure. There is another supplicant here. Hey, Stonehouse. Can't tell you that, that I won, huh? Old friend. Okay, Miranda, sure. One last time, perhaps? There is a merchant waiting for you in Chief Miranda's office. As Haven's influence expands, trade has increased dramatically. Miranda says, Prince, this is Min here. Just arrived at Great Port from Haven. Min here kneels. Uh, he says he ha says he has a proposal for you. Greetings, Min here. What do you want? I'm so gratified, Prince, and I'm most impressed by the wonders you have worked in this beleaguered colony. Are you actually referring to our defeating the calamity, or just the things I did before that? I'm assuming this is still from, technically from before I beat the game, for real. And the game's still catching up to to the current events, once again. I have a proposition. One that will benefit Haven and, incidentally, yourself. This is about a bribe. Go on. Haven imports potions from Ariel. They are masters of that trade. However, nobody has ever imported the elixir. It increases longevity and has certain pleasurable effects. I asked to buy elixir from Ariel and ship it to Haven. Will they? They don't sell that, though. Why would they sell that to you? They are not selling it to me, the prince. Suppose they do hate me, but, I mean, my understanding is that they are just not selling it. Period. Anyway. Uh, an exclusive con contract. In return, you will receive gold plus an initial fee of a fair amount of quicksilver. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, no. I, I don't want to support the trade of of, uh, of elixir at all and i doubt this is, it would even work i don't know but even then min here kneels i'm eager for your wisdom prince miranda is just worried it is now forbidden to export elixir make sure the ariel know i said that yes i mean again my understanding was that they weren't exporting elixir at all or interested in doing so and you know greedily uh keeping that for themselves or not you know Maybe not so much greedily. I don't know. Uh, it's not forbidden to export elixir. Make sure the Ariel know I said that. Also have men here beaten. Uh, no, just tell him no and send him away. Why beat him? Chief Miranda looks relieved. Men here starts to speak, but she says, The prince is very, very busy. This audience is over. He's removed. Yeah, I mean, that was possibly the easiest decision I ever made. Uh, I'm going to exit and return. Maybe I should have talked to the portal. In case there were multiple... What? You can't get there? Excuse me? <laughs> we have more. Oh my god. Well, let's see what we hear here. You hear the queen's voice. It is uncertain, trembling. My child, I have been told. You have entered the underworld. The Nissi are real, and you walked among them. That is all I have heard. Is it correct? I have no idea how you could possibly have heard that, or from whom, but yes, it is correct. You have gone farther than any of us, to a place where my sight cannot reach, a place where I cannot protect you. What did you find there? A dark underworld full of enemies of Haven. Hmm. I mean, honestly, there weren't all that many. And, well, I suppose they were all enemies of Haven, though, even the simple people, if there are such among the Nissi. A new nation to conquer? No. No thanks. They can keep that to themselves. The few that are left... A place where I can finally be unwatched and free. No, I mean, I definitely didn't feel very comfortable on there. So, yeah, this makes the most sense. I knew it. Do not underestimate the Nissi. They are strange and powerful. They have the power to curse the land and drive us out. No, not anymore. They might even be able to destroy you or drive you mad with their lies. When I sent you to Sacramentum, I never realized I would have to face a hard truth. And that truth is? Also, I mean, she's speaking as if I had a chance, as if there was a possibility to take a look at the underworld and return, but as far as I'm aware, that was not the case. All three exits or entrances were sealed. Hmm. I mean, technically, I, I suppose I could have taken the Inissi's offer, maybe? And might have been allowed to leave? 
and I might have it might have been possible to return later then to change my mind, but I kind of doubt that. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what what is that truth? I'm afraid. When I let you go, I thought I might lose you, but I never took the risk seriously. I never realized that you would truly become free of me, to take your own risks, to face disaster. I am afraid. Atantua, what are you going to do? Um, not much. Return home, because I've already won. I will stay safe. I will not return to the underworld. <laughs> no, I, there's no reason to. Yeah, really, this this whole dialogue seems to assume that there was a way to to return in the meantime, and I'm, I'm not aware of it. I thought I had to deal with it one way or the other. Um, I mean, I kind of wondered uh, if the game really, um, because obviously being being trapped down there, I had no uh, no more opportunity to uh, change my equipment, to upgrade my equipment, to uh, change runes in my equipment, even though I did find at least one new rune down there. Uh, that did make me wonder, but I mean, I'm not aware of any other entrances to the underworld, and all three refuges were just sealed. I checked them, right? I mean, the gates were closed. No mechanisms or anything. And after I beat the the Watchers, it was open. So if it opened at any point before that, I just, I guess maybe I didn't check often enough? Hmm, anyway. Uh, we'll complete my mission. Sacramento will be ours. Well, that's what I would have said. A noble goal. At last you are truly a child of Haven, a defender of our people. I will be strong. I won't try to stop you. I have I have to let you be brave. Whatever happens, I will remember this moment. I am so proud. Good luck, my child. Thank you, mother. Oh, well, yeah, as usual. Um, we'll just pretend that that happened before I did what I did. Well, this is bound to be awkward. There is an Ariel man chained to the pillar. Well fed, upright, and proud. Chief Miranda looks worried. Okay. Prince, I'm afraid the General of the East Battalion has dropped a problem on us. Says it is too delicate for him to handle. Now what? This is Giroff. She points at the Ariel, who snorts and refuses to look at you. He lives in Slivin. Some of our soldiers visited that town. They were keeping to themselves, or so I hear. Then Giroff spat on one of them. The soldiers demanded an apology. Giroff refused, so they hauled him back to Deepwood Keep. Hmm. I suppose kind of understandable. Uh... And this was very visible, and all the Ariel know about it, and they're mad. Probably. But then again, I guess he uh, provoked them first, so... Jirov, what do you have to say for yourself? Jirov snorts. Typical Ariel noble. Green skin, mad eyes. I need say nothing. Haven is squabbling. Is a squabbling band of merchants and thugs, and they have no place in our lands. Elixir has certainly made him brave. Hmm. Uh, I mean, seriously, what am I supposed to do about this guy? I can't execute him for spitting at someone and refusing to apologize. I suppose we could imprison him for a while to teach him better manners, which is not going to help at all. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Talking to him more won't help. <laughs> Giraff, what do you have to? Uh, what, what would you do if you were freed, just out of curiosity? I would return home and live a dignified life, a suitable life. Not that Haven would understand that, Miranda says. And the spitting? Giroff thinks on this. I suppose I can't back down on that. On this, since I have a family to look after. I will not repeat my actions. I mean, he probably won't, if for no other reason than to avoid further inconvenience. It is a waste of my time, honestly. Sure, I've made a decision, I guess. <laughs> Miranda, please spit on Giroff. Can I do it myself, just to get it over with? Yeah, I mean, honestly, just being sped at is, you know, whatever. These guys are mad, we know that. Our soldiers should know that. I feel like he should, he should, you know, be punished in some kind of way. And not just, you know... And then I would tell my, our soldiers that. Mm. <laughs> just because it's funny. Miranda, please spit on Giroff. Chief Miranda is confused at first. Then she understands. Okay, I was actually uh, expecting her to to be, uh, to be refuse or something. But I guess not. She spits on Giroff. Giroff is beside himself with fury. Miranda says, now we are even. 
Jaroff is released. He leaves immediately. Chief Miranda says, I think that is the end of that. Thank you for settling that, Prince. Hey, thank you for cooperating. <laughs> well, that was funny, at least. And by the way, if you had been wondering, I'm just uh, going to do all there is to do. I'll have all the portal conversations, talk to Miranda. Uh, oh, I guess that was that. Um, suppose we're very close to be done then. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to see what more portal conversations there might be. I'm assuming there's only going to be one final one with Mother, probably, which will now acknowledge that we uh, that we achieved the final victory, and then we're going to return home and see what's that, and um, this episode is going to be as long as it's going to be. Anyway, we can not talk to you... Wait... The disaster. It has ended. Our servants are, are cowed. Our servants are cowed? Our crops grow. I believe that I believe that thanks to you, Sacramentum is defeated at last. You should return this news to Queen Sharon. She will be very pleased. That's all you have to say? Really? I was expecting a bit more fanfare about that, but I guess not. Oh, Sutter. Hey. You hear Sutter's voice. He sounds amused. Gleeful, even. <laughs> so, brother, it sounds like you've been up to more than the usual amount of mischief. Done anything important lately you'd like to report? Not to you, really. I made a deal in the Ariel Woods. Really? We're that far behind? Wow. Okay. Oh, yes, a deal with an obscure nobody in a small town. To take part in ruling the Ariel. While making this deal, you... Let me check. Yes, you humiliated the leaders of their land. Is this right? Um, destroyed their chosen defender in front of everybody. Yes. Yes, that matches my report. This Istara will make sure the Ariel are our vassals. In return, you enrage the intensely mentally unstable leaders of this land. Yes. That sounds about right, yeah. They are experiencing irrational rage, I expect. Maybe not even irrational, but... Um, futile? Oh, yes, the Watchers believe they are, they are just and... They are the just and utter rulers of the land, and they are blessed by other realities only they can see. Now our soldiers will enter the woods and make them share power. It will be quite a challenge for them, but Delia picked their leaders. They, uh, they... Are, are you all right? What? What do you mean? Sutter's voice is quiet and agitated. He isn't talking to you. He says, you're looking pale. Why are you... Hold on, hold on to... Help! Someone, I need... Hello? Hello? Sutter says, nothing. It is nothing. Don't worry about it. Well done, Atentu. We'll talk soon. Then there is silence. And then there was silence. What? Was that mother collapsing? I have a feeling like it probably was Mother. Who else would he be so agitated about? Oh, no more conversation. Delia, hi. As your vision clears and you recover from being blipped halfway across the world, a shape comes into view. It is your sister, Delia, dressed in her best finery. She's ready for a proper feast. Okay, so Mother is not dead or deathly ill? Presumably. Also, uh, let's pretend we actually uh, said goodbye properly to all our faithful companions of so many adventures. <laughs> this is, you know, they're just dropped like mere equipment pieces uh, without a single word. That's okay. Uh, see our vision clears? Right. Uh, yeah. She runs toward you, arms out. Okay. Don't know if you heard that, but <laughs> I suppose that was just the wind slamming a door because I'm supposed to be Home alone right now. Hmm. Anyway. Um, hug her back. She warmly embraces you. We had our difficulties in the past, but, you know, I'm kind of euphoric, returning triumphantly, so might as well. She warmly embraces you. Her arms choke you a tiny bit. She leans back and looks you over. So it is true. It's really you. You are home. That is true. I knew that it could happen any day. Then we heard rumors. The portal was repaired a long, long time ago. You were returning. She points at her fancy dress. So, I was ready. All this time? You've been waiting here? Really? I know there will be a lot of reports. Lots of meetings. I wanted to greet you first. I had to ask, how are you? And, by the way, yes, I remember... I, or, well, I don't remember, really, but I know that I tried, or that I, you know, just uh, experimented, just stepped through the portal as soon as I rebuilt it, and experienced some sort of ending, but I really don't remember any details anymore. Just some... Awkward conversation with my family, with mother, some kind of ceremony. And obviously at that point I had not even conquered a single vessel, I think, or maybe one of them. So that was not really a proper ending. 
So unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to to notice all the any any differences necessarily between uh, the dialogue I'm getting now after having done, as far as I know, absolutely everything possible. And back then, when I had done basically nothing. But I'm assuming there are going to be some differences. I mean, at least the very ending must be different, right? So we'll see. <clears throat> so I was ready. I know there will be... Really, right, how are you? Um, still the same as I always was? Nah, I guess not. I have been changed. Changed because you abandoned me. Wow. So commandment hours is ordered. Very business-like. I think... I'm going to go with I'm a different person now. She looks you in the eye. I believe you. To travel, to fight, to be alone in a dangerous world. I've seen the changes it made in Sutter. I see the same new strength in you. It will be a busy time, but I hope we can talk soon. I want to talk about your dreams. Did you ever have one about me in the tower in the underworld? Oh, yeah, well, this is definitely different, obviously. Did you ever have one about me in a tower in the underworld? What an odd question. No, but I almost never remember my dreams. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose that's true for most people. Certainly true for me. So, who knows? Maybe she did actually communicate with me in a dream at some point. I just doesn't remember. So, talk about what you mean? I want to hear all about uh, about all of it. That foreign land, the Ariel and the Ukat and the Vol. I feel trapped in this castle, writing letters and talking to diplomats. I want to hear all about your adventures. Mm. <laughs> I will make an official report. After that, I never want to think about Synchromentum again. I mean, I wouldn't blame him for thinking that way, but honestly, my headcanon is that he actually enjoyed his his stay. You know, maybe not all aspects of it, but he wasn't very happy in, in the castle to begin with, right? Well, at least that's my interpretation. So I think he's actually grown and grown accustomed to life abroad and, you know, not being pampered all the time. And... I could imagine him returning there as, you know, I don't know, to, to oversee the colony of Haven and contact with the vessels to make sure that they're being treated justly and not suppressed. Um, but we'll see. Mm, I'd like to know how Sutter is. No, I don't care about Sutter at all. I want to know how the Queen is doing. Yes, because I'm, I have a couple of reasons to be worried about her. But I guess we'll have a lot of time to talk, so I will tell you all about my time in Sacramentum, eventually. I'm so looking forward to it. We will spend hours together, like in the old days. I will drive you mad with questions. I can't delay you now, though. I must go direct the feast. Mother will want your report. Uh, well, honestly, yes, I'm eager to get it over with. Leah points to the east. The queen awaits. She winks. Okay. But so does Sutter. Assuming that's him. You enter the hall leading back to the queen's throne room. It's so strange to be back. The air is cool. Flowers scent in the air. Flowers scent the air. You feel safe for the first time in a while. Yet it is strange. Everything seems a little smaller than it did before. When you meet the queen, you can choose to end the story and find out what happens. Make sure you are ready. You can also return, turn around and return to Sacramento. Yeah, okay, well, obviously there is, as far as I'm aware, no more to complete. So I'm fully ready. Um, Sutter is waiting for you in the hall. He walks toward you, arms out, the familiar jaunty smile on his face. Yet something isn't right about him, something in his eyes, some sort of fear. Then when he gets closed, he faints to the right and comes in fast, trying to punch you hard on the arm, like you did a thousand times when you were young. Block it and punch him back. Well, I mean, I have to take this opportunity. You twist as fast as you can, trying to block the blow. And for the first time, you slap his arm away. You return with a vicious punch to his arm. For a moment, he looks furious. Just a moment. Then he laughs. Well done. Travel has done you some good. Atatuo, my brother, you are back. He rubs his sore arm. <laughs> good greetings. Well, and greetings to you. So you're in the family business now. You're out of bed, traveling, raiding. Maybe the occasional drink? A raucous night in the pub? Making the big decisions that change lives? I suppose, yeah, I've done most of those things. What did you think? How did it suit you? I have regained sacramentum completely. Yes? That is true. I found that a bit of adventuring suits me. That's also true. Tired of exploring and fighting? Eh, well, maybe the fighting. A little bit. Um, hmm. You know what? I just want to be as, as cool and uh, matter-of-factly with him as possible. So 
I have regained sacred momentum completely. And we are proud of it. That is a splendid little accomplishment. We will have a council to discuss that tomorrow. For now, I want to know more about you. Uh, oh, okay, well, I found that a bit of adventuring suits me. Yes. I thought it might. Power is the greatest luxury, is it not? I imagine you'll be spending a lot of time away from home soon, roaming the world. Don't let us stop you. Anyway, enough chat. I can't keep you too long. I can't keep you too long, though. Mother awaits. How is Mother? You will see soon enough. Hmm, ominous. What will she want to know? Your report, of course. You are an envoy and warrior for Haven, back from a major mission. And what a mission. You'll have, a, you'll have to stand in front of the nobles and generals and such, and deliver the news. I hope it's good news. Before you go, though, I want to ask. You'll have a feast, a rest, get to spend some time in the palace. He stops smiling and looks you in the eye. What do you want after that? Well, I mean, I did say that I wanted him to return to Sacramento. I'm not sure if they need me necessarily, but then again, I feel like if I'm not there, things might not proceed in the way that I had envisioned. So at least, you know, for my own personal headcanon, I, I want him to return to make sure that everything uh, goes according to his plan. So yes, I must return to Sacramento. They might need me. Sutter laughs. Oh, that's never going to happen. Mother won't allow it. Well, we'll see about that. It's really only a minor land. She found it important for her own reasons. That time is past. We can't let it distract us anymore. Hmm. Don't worry. We'll come up with a profitable use of your time. Soon you will forget that tiresome place ever existed. Uh, well, it's going to be my business, not yours, but okay. So now what? You talk to Mother. You make, the, you make a report. Then, if it is suitable, Delia will have the palace throw a feast fit for the ages. For now, you need to see the Queen. It can't be put off anymore. It is time. What sort of mood is she in? Mood? She... Things have changed since you were last here. He steps out of your way. Go see her. Get it over with. Hmm. You know, last couple of conversations were pretty... Um, I don't know, amicable? Is that the right word? Uh, you enter the throne room. Once again, you find court in session. Your mother is waiting for you. When you enter, she looks at you and smiles. You haven't seen her in a long time. She looks different. She looks tired. She looks unwell. Where before she was always, uh, where before she's, she always sat perfectly upright, now she leans forward onto her upper legs. Atanto, my child, my prince, you have returned. Come and give your report. I mean, I'm pretty sure she was like this when we returned much earlier in the game, so I don't think her her uh, condition has changed over the course of the game, even though a lot more time has passed. The queen is where she was the last time you saw her, sitting on her throne. However, she has changed, yes, we know. She is pale. Her hair, normally perfectly done and in place, is uncombed. Her, her, uh, it is clear that she is quite ill. As all of the assembled potentates watch, Pretending nothing is wrong, she says, Welcome, Prince. We are glad that you are home. She pauses, waiting for you to kneel. Well, I guess I'll kneel. This is an official audience and all that, anyway. So, might as well respect the court protocol. You kneel. Your mother nods approvingly. She is more pleased by this than you expected. The queen starts to say something. Then she coughs, a long, ragged, painful bout of hacking that seems to go on forever. Behind her, the nobles and guards watch as if nothing usual, nothing unusual is happening. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show some emotion and some affection. Step forward to help. She doesn't stop coughing, but when you move to, move forward, she gives you a look of rage that stops you short. Eventually, she recovers. I mean, she is still my mother, you know? Court protocol be damned. If she's doing that unwell, obviously, she should not give me the, the evil eye just for for wanting to help her. That's that's really silly. Anyway, <clears throat> and also that should be a court doctor tending to her if she's this visibly ill. I don't know. Eventually she recovers. She daintily wipes her lip with a lace handkerchief. Are you all right? Of course. It was just a little cough. The weather doesn't agree with me. Pollen in the air, I think. I got a bit worse lately. It got a bit worse lately. I had a sudden spell. It was very strange. My strength left me entirely for a moment. I have recovered, though. You recall your recent encounter with her spirit in the Nissi Tower. Yeah, I did think of that. I guess, obviously, this part of the dialogue must be new then. A recent attack is saying... Hmm. I mean, shouldn't we discuss these kinds of things in private? I'm just not sure we're going to get that kind of opportunity. At least not 
you know, in uh, as part of the of the actual gameplay. Still, I suppose a recent attack, you say? Yes, recent. It is not important. You wonder if it happened at the same time you liberated the Nessie fragment of her soul. She is determined to not talk about it. Hmm. There is much I want to tell you. Uh, yes. You will, in time, in private. For now, all these important people have come to hear the fate of our colony in Sacramento. It is time for your report. I'm ready to give my report. As you speak, you feel a strange, powerful surge of confidence. You've never been able to stand the thought of being judged by Mother. Yet, the dream you had in the refuge about the Queen has left you understanding her better. Of course, Prince. What is the situation on Sacramento? You took a very, very long time to return. I hope you used the time well. Well, I think I did. The Calamity returned to Sacramento, but I ended it. The nobles and generals engage in a spontaneous cheer. Your mother is beaming. Your words have returned a bit of healthy color to her cheeks. Where I failed, my child has succeeded. Sacramento is ours, as it should be. I now eagerly await learning the status of all of our wayward vassals. What do you want to know? First, the Ocatish. Our industrious, angry swamp dwellers are vessels by treaty and right. Where do things stand with them? The Ocatish are our vessels. Our forces support the Brock clan. A small clan, poor and unable to pay good tribute. Yeah, well, they will be bigger in due time. Yet they are industrious and pliable. Though through them we will return order and wealth to the Ocatish. In time they will see the value of our presence. Well done. Now what about the Vol, trapped in endless and bloody civil war? The Vol are, are our vessels. We are supporting the Owen insurgents. That is not the choice I myself made, as you know. Yet perhaps my tolerating the excesses of, our Mas of the Masha is what led to their bloody war. I think that is probably the case, yes. I support your brave choice, and our soldiers will fight to protect the Owen. Finally, what about the Ariel, those forest eccentrics, those lovers of beauty and safety? The Ariel are our vessels. We are helping the trench folk to gain power alongside the Blessed. An interesting choice. I have already received letters from this Istara, an industrious, aggressive woman. I like her. We will use our soldiers to make a more stable state in the Ariel Woods to benefit all. Well done. This concludes my questions. That is what I have done for the glory of Haven. Apparently. That's all I can say. Your voice starts to catch in your throat. You have never been able to understand what your mother wants. Then the memory of your refuge dream returns and you see what your mother wants. You look at her and nod, reassuring her. She smiles and says, You are back. Now I need to know if you are concluded. Concluded? Are you sure, finally sure, that you have done all you want to do on Sacramento? Answer this question carefully. Yes. I'm done with Sacramento. I am home. I mean, I will return to... I, again, I'd like to return to Sacramento as part of my princely duties, but not during this game necessarily. So I guess... What the game expects of me here is, I'm done with Sacramento, I'm home. There is another general cheer. Your mother smiles, a genuine look of relief on her face. It will be good to have you home. There is only one more thing, one last decision to make. Now that I'm home, you have a final decision? All of the nobles and generals are paying very close attention. You are a Prince of Haven. What role you play in the future is a matter of great importance to all of them. This is why this is not happening in private. Your brother and sister slip into the room and watch quietly from the back. The queen says, I sent you on a mission. You have returned. I will pass my judgment on you. And your judgment? You have prevailed. You have done all I asked and more. In my eyes, you are a true hero of Haven. In my rule, I have had three great failures. I have... She coughs painfully. I have decided it is time to rectify them. Sacramentum was the first. Through your victory, you have healed a wound in my heart. Your three failures? I have had a, a long rule. It is time to look back. Who knows how long any of us may walk on this world. It is time for me to correct my failures while I can. It is my wish. What are the other failures? Queen Sharon straightens on her throne. This is not the time to discuss it, but I mean, you brought it up. I think this is exactly how this went the first time, but I'm... details might be different. Well, uh, what will be done about the other failures? My child is home. This is a day for celebration. That business must wait for another day. Again, you brought it up. I, Okay, sure. What do you want from me? She rises from her throne and walks toward you. She wants to rest her hand on your shoulder to, to claim you and welcome you home. When she stands, however, she has a severe dizzy spell. She stands there, swaying back and forth. Nobody steps forward to help her. 
I mean, I'm not going to let her fall to the ground. And even if she gets angry again, I'll step forward to help her. You get there just in time to keep her from pitching face first onto the stone floor. You ease her down onto her throne. She looks up at you, momentarily unsure where she is. Mother, you're ill. I mean, I knew that a long time ago. I've been, I've known that for a long time. She reflexively adopts her best furious expression. Nonsense! I'm the Queen of Haven. I cannot be ill. You, Prince, my child, you are an uncontrolled power. You need a role. You can't just float around loose. You must make a choice. All right. Well, give me the choice, finally. So we can be done here and you can retreat and rest or, you know, see a doctor. She grips her chair to stay steady. I must... I must ask. Ask away. What do you want, Atantu? How will you serve Haven? I mean, okay, I do get the choice here. After a rest, I wish to return to Sacramentum. I have... I left unfinished business there. I mean, not necessarily anything, you know, concrete, but... In general, it might not be a bad idea, since, you know, I know the place well, better than anyone else, probably. Uh, and even if... Well, I don't know. I guess I, I am the youngest prince, right? I mean, if if there were a choice for the the succession to the throne, um, I guess Sutter would come first, or is Delia the oldest? So I don't know. If it needs to be a king, I guess it would be Sutter. So I wouldn't be ne absolutely needed in the castle, you know. Anyway, uh, I've had my fill of adventures. No, definitely not that. I wish to continue serving Haven. I mean, I would on Sacramentum. I've gained faith in my own wisdom. I wish to take the throne after you. Is that what... I mean, that might be what she wants to hear, honestly. But it's not what I'm interested in. The, I don't feel like that's the role for me. So I'm going to go with option number one, even if it might not be what she wants to hear. Queen Sharon sighs. <sighs> okay, well, I guess I didn't have a choice then. No, I control movement through Haven. You will never be allowed back there. I thought that your sentimentality would lead you astray. I won't allow it. Sacramentum is a minor power. All Haven needs our all Haven needs our care. Your performance on Sacramentum was definitely strong enough that it would be wise to keep you close. The nobles nod. Well, so much for that choice. Again. We will discuss this more tomorrow. I'm sure I can find another minor power for you to bring into line. In the meantime, we have a final bit of business. Happy business. And that is a feast, a celebration. Our family is reunited. Our child is home. Come. There will be drinking and eating and music and dancing until the wee hours. It is long overdue. <sighs> After what you did to me, I'm done with you? Am I still... Does the game still let me uh, keep a grudge for her, well, banishing me to Sacramento? All those months ago? Nah. <sighs> Good, I'm hungry. You know what? Yeah. In response, Delia cries out, Two Prince Atantuo! You are drowned out by the cheers. Attendants assist your mother out of the throne room. Servants lead you off in another direction. Soon the festivities begin. You are bathed, dressed, and led to a glorious feast. And that is the end of the game. Three achievements at once. Wow. The colony survives. Total victory and hardened veteran. Thank you. Once the audience is over, it's just like the old days. Servants, servants bathe and dress you as expected. You are given a lavish, glorious feast as expected. Select screen to continue. You mean click? Okay. <laughs> sure. The mood of the crowd is buoyant. A lost colony has been reclaimed, which is a great cause for celebration. Many toasts are made to Sacramentum and to you. They don't know about the Nissi, but they will. The story of your victory over those strange underworld folk will be told and retold for centuries to come. Well, at least decades, I guess. Delia is always at your side, eager to introduce you to obscure nobles and proud to tell stories of that strange land. And, and proud you to tell stories of that strange land. She must have missed you greatly while you were gone. Your success fills her with great pride. Sutter offers several toasts to you. He frequently boasts about his adventuring sibling, about having another who will join the fight. It takes some time to realize that it isn't a joke. His pride is real. You won a great victory, and he could not be happier. For Haven and for you. As you deal with the crowds and the chaos, you almost become overwhelmed. When you feel lost, however, the dreams of the Nissi sustain you. In some way you can't understand, they gave you a confidence and a diplomatic ability you've never had before. Yeah, I suppose. One of those dreams specifically did that, didn't it? Hmm. I mean, I have been wondering, of course, if... Or I have wondered out loud if 
having had those dreams might have made things more difficult or it made things have, might have affected me negatively somehow. But I, I mean, I guess I wouldn't know unless I try another playthrough uh, where I just don't take a single Nissi dream and then see how the final se sequence the encounters in the Nissi lands proceed. Of course, things might have been different there. But, uh, well, either way, they certainly seem to have, they definitely had an uh, impact on the, the ending sequence here. Um, Mother mentioned, or during the dialogue with, with the Queen, one of the dreams was mentioned here, another one, so I suppose that's good. Anyway, you scored a great victory, and you will be able to maximally leverage it to get whatever you want. This night is for celebration. You don't need to think about the cost yet. As you feast and drink and dance and meet Haven's noble folk, you keep trying to see the queen. Your mother sits at the high table. She's quiet and eats modestly. Well, at least she does eat. She is pale and tired in a way she used to never let anyone see. The nobles and generals all know it, though. They do their best to pretend nothing is amiss, but they shoot constant nervous glances at the high table. Victory or not, darker times are ahead. And then the feast ends. You sleep. The next day, life continues. In the weeks and months that follow, you are true to your word and try to return to Sacramentum. Your efforts are always foiled. You thought after the great victory on Sacramentum you would be allowed to return to the land you conquered. You were wrong. The ships are always full, the portals are always malfunctioning. Your mother said that you can't return. She was true to her word. She does everything she can to prevent you from going back and she is successful. Well, as the months pass and your new life takes shape, you start to hear rumors from Sacramentum. It is interesting to learn what happened there in your absence. With the help of the West Battalion, the Brock clan is easily able to evict King Borgen from the Home Warren. The Brock rule the Okatar swamps, and they remember to pay their debts to Haven. Lady Brock uses her power to try to make the Okatar less consumed by hate and more able to trust outsiders. She makes some progress, but there are wounds that there, there are wounds there that will take generations to heal. As for the Borgen, the Brock are merciful. They are allowed to keep most of their lands, and they contribute to making a profitable peace. The Borgen don't start actively scheming to rebel until years later. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that's as good as, as we could expect. With the help of the South Battalion, the Masha are easily defeated. The Owen are freed and the rebels of the Madraka, of Madraka are able to take control. There is, of course, a long period of chaos and bloody reprisals. Land is taken, clans are evicted, injustices happen. You only hear rumors of this outrage, of this outrage or that. You aren't involved. The rebels of the Madraka the rebels of Madraka are unprepared to rapidly take control of an entire nation. Happily, whenever they are confused, Haven's diplomats are always uh, are able to smoothly slip in and make sure decisions are made and enforced. Always to Haven's benefit, of course. Of course. In time, the vault stabilizes as a new nation with new leaders and new laws. Healthy, prosperous, and good, valuable vessels of Haven. Let's hope that's true. The East Battalion takes Istara to High Elhovo and informs the Watchers that they are going to have to share power with all the people of the Avial Woods. Their responses are confused, unfocused and eventually entirely inadequate. With, with Haven's guidance, the way the Ariel are ruled changes greatly. Of course, at every step, Haven's diplomats make sure that the new laws help the trench folk a little bit and Haven a lot. Uh, well, see, that's the kind of thing that I might have tried to influence if I had a say in it, but obviously it was going to be this way. They have lots and lots of experience warping new vessels to your advantage. Before the Ariel realize what has happened, they are entirely dependent on your empire to run their nation. They become one of the more profitable of your vessels. Hmm. And Haven's colony and the poor lands in the center of Sacramentum? After long years of neglect, they are rewarded with great prosperity. Sacramentum eventually falls under full control. Your forts and towns grow and become prosperous. Those Havenites fortunate enough to get to Sacramentum early become very wealthy. As time goes on, the Nissi are forgotten entirely. They are spoken of as children's stories and nothing more. Also forgotten, any idea of a free, independent Sacramentum. In time, Haven has many cities on Sacramentum. Every single one of them has a statue of you in a courtyard somewhere. Well, yay. As years pass, all of the news comes back to you. It's an interesting diversion, but that is all. In the chaos that comes, it is only trivia from a half-forgotten land. In the difficult times that come, the thing you remember is the celebration when you return home. As it grew late, you went to look for your mother. You found her being led to bed by not her normal attendants, but healers. 
When you found her, you finally tried to ask what was wrong with her. She cut you off with a gesture. She didn't, she didn't answer any of your questions about it, ever. Once you were silent, she waved you close. She leaned toward your ear. You sighed slightly, waiting for yet more congratulations. She whispered, My child, everything changes. It never stops changing. Then she was walked off to bed. She looked over, the, over her shoulder at you once. It seemed like she tried to memorize what you looked like. It was then that you remembered her three mistakes and the worried nobles and you had a premonition of the chaos to come. At least you knew that you were fully prepared to face it. You stood alone in the hall, not sure what just happened. Then you shrugged. That's what life is, right? One change or another? Another battle always comes eventually, right? So you went to bed and gigantic, deadly, incomprehensible machinery and what well, okay, and gigantic, deadly, incomprehensible machinery ground on all around you. The end. The end! Congratulations for reaching an ending to Queen's Wish, The Conqueror. If you carry your choices to the next game in the series, hang on to this code and enter it when you start Queen's Wish 2. Well, we'll see. I, I have not been following any kind of news, but I'm assuming they're already deep into development of that game. It might be just around the corner, who knows? I mean, uh, as usual, I took a long time to complete this game, so it might not be much longer until the next one releases. And, well, I guess this would be the time to try and collect my thoughts about it, but I guess if you've watched this playthrough, you know exactly what I think and feel about the game. It's definitely not my favorite by spider Web. In fact, it might be my least favorite. And it makes me, makes me sad to say that, but it's true. Um, there were certainly things... Uh, mechanically, it was fine. I did enjoy the combat. Um, and I did enjoy most of the little stories. You know, the, the, the overall setting was interesting. Um, there were certainly a, a couple of interesting twists that I didn't see coming. And including the entire, you know, trip to the underworld in the end. There was... I feel like they could have done a bit more with that, but then again, um, I guess the game was long enough as it was, especially since, you know, I played in my usual extremely thorough, overly thorough manner, you might say. Um, yeah, I, I guess my biggest qualms are probably about the writing quality in general. Uh, there were so many redundancies and so many kind of dull dialogues and and stories, and yeah, I don't know. The entire resource management seemed kind of pointless. Uh, the, the the base building, the, I feel like it didn't really add much to the game at all. Um, I don't know. There there are probably many more things to mention and to talk about that I am forgetting now. And I I don't normally do a, a separate video where I give a, some kind of review, so I'll just let this this Let's Play, this playthrough, stand for itself, speak for itself. Um, if you watched it, you obviously formed your own opinion about the game, and you know mine, so what else is there to say? Um, that being said, obviously, well, obviously, I'm most likely going to still play the sequel at some point, maybe not immediately when it comes out, depending on what other games are there, you know, at the time. And I'm definitely going to keep this. Obviously, I always have my video to come back to, so I'm going to not write this down right now. And that just gets us, brings us back to the uh, title screen. Okay, well, without any further ado, I thank you so very much for watching and uh, for sticking with me through this very long series. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if, you, if you're still here, I must assume that you have. Um, in that case, as always, uh, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and I shall see you real soon in some other series. Bye-bye and take care.